Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is BQ. I'm still going to be talking about WrestleCon and the Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground show here on the channel. But the first thing I want to talk to you about today are a couple conversations that I had this past Friday. Now, uh, two of the conversations, or the two conversations I had were with Taryn Terrell and with Rebel. Uh, listener of the Impact Lounge, Kyle Ronan, he actually spoke to Jeff Cobb, so I'm not going to take credit for that. He was the one that spoke to him, and then uh, he talked to me afterwards at the uh, Impact show. All right, so first conversation that I had was with Rebel. I'm a big Rebel fan. I think she's highly improved, and if you followed her on social media much, she's been using a hashtag, I think, give Rebel another chance or something along those lines. She wants to come back to Impact Wrestling. Now, uh, you know, of course, there was the famous match with, uh, crap, I don't even remember her name at the moment, but the one that got a bunch of uh, attention for being a bad match. Um, Rebel has improved a lot. She did some uh, wrestling in stardom, and the couple times she showed up on Impact since then, much improved. Much, much improved. She wants back. She wants to return to Impact she did say, however, that she she does believe it's just a matter of time that uh, the knockouts that are there right now are pulling for her and have been telling her they feel pretty good that she'll be returning. My next conversation with one of my other favorites, Taryn Terrell. Taryn was really cool. Both, both of them were really cool. Both of them had long, long conversations with me. And I told Taryn that it gutted me when she left the company. If you guys remember, I dropped a passionate video about that because I thought the company, I thought she wanted to leave. What she said was, yeah, that was, it wasn't my choice to go. And she said, you know, it's basically everything that had been reported. She said, they didn't think I could get into Canada. And then she stops and she's like, but they don't even record in Canada that much. Something along those lines, I'm paraphrasing, which obviously they're doing the tapings here coming up. They did Bound for Glory and they've done for some road shows, but they've still been in Orlando. They've done, sh you know, did the show in the Wrestle Pro, the big time wrestling. They're obviously not going to be in Canada every single set of tapings. She said she's not done. She doesn't want to be done with wrestling. She wants to come back. She fought very hard to get her theme song to be a certain way. She wanted it very evanescent sounding. You guys know I love her theme song. And um, I don't think she was planning on being there for a set of tapings. But she does want back also. But what she also said was she doesn't know if the new management is interested in her. You know, she says there's a new group there. And she doesn't know if they, they want her. So when it comes to Taryn and Rebel, I told both of them I would talk about this on the YouTube channel. And that I would ask the listeners to tweet Scott Demore, Don Callis, Ed Norholm. Let them know you want Rebel and Taryn to roll back. If you don't want them back, that's fine. You don't, that, you know what I mean? Not everybody wants everyone to come back. But for those of you who are interested in those, in those girls coming back, two girls who want to be back, um, they're listening to us. The, the management's listening to us. So if you want, if you want to see those ladies come back, they would appreciate it because they want to be back. Jeff Cobb. I know this is one everyone's really, really interested in. So Kyle Ronan, one of the listeners, I met a lot of listeners at WrestleCon. It was crazy. Um, either I was recognized or in a couple cases, they recognized my voice. <laughs> so, so it was, it was cool to meet, meet some listeners. I wasn't expecting to meet any. So th that was a really cool part of the weekend. Anyway, he talked with Jeff Cobb right before the Impact and Lucha show. I didn't see Jeff walking around, uh, but apparently he did. And he walked up and he said, hey, I really hope that you we see you in Impact Wrestling. And he said, and I'm paraphrasing again, I hope to be here. I hope to be in Impact Wrestling. So he he is interested in signing a deal. Many, many people are assuming that he wants to go to New Japan or stay there or whatever it is. And I guess his contract with Lucha Underground is, is I read that it was over, but I mean, he was at the event. So obviously I would imagine he's going to be on this season coming up. So maybe he has this as a final season. I don't know, but he did. He did tell Kyle that he does hope to be a part of the impact wrestling roster. So that's some good news for everybody. 
And again, when it comes to Terran and Rebel, uh, I said that I would do what I could here on the channel. They both uh, look forward to that. So, and I'm probably going to remind you guys every once in a while because those are the two I really, I personally, if I'm being selfish, really want to see come back. So, just a little tidbits for you guys. Um, and I'll be talking about WrestleCon and the Impact Lucha show here very soon on the channel. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.